So you got stale shares, huh? You want to reduce them stale shares, don't you? I got you back. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again. Today, we're going to be talking about using a tool provided by actually the guys that run two miners that basically checks your ping to various mining pools. And it works quite well. I can tell it's not biased because when I've used it, Two miners isn't the best pool for me in particular. So today we're going to talk about how to use that tool and basically why it will help reduce stale shares. But before we get into it, there's no sponsor, but please hit that join button down below. And for $1.99, you can get access to our rocket chat. It's privately hosted with end to end message encrypting available if you need it, as well as it's awesome. No spammers, no scammers, no bots, all crypto enthusiasts and crypto miners welcome to do it. After you hit that join button, go to the YouTube homepage for Son of Attack, click the membership tab and find the section that says connecting on social media. Let's get into it. All right, boys. So a lot of the times when you have stale shares, it is primarily due to the fact that you are not submitting the shares fast enough to the server. And it's a lot less about actual internet speed and more about internet latency, specifically the latency to the server you're trying to mine to. So what you want to do is test and figure out where the lowest latency is from your particular location. A tool that was released by two miners, as mentioned previously, is what I use to go ahead and determine which pools I'm going to be able to submit shares to faster than other pools. All right, so pretty easy to get into it. There is an article here on twominers.com and they link over to their GitHub. And if you scroll down, you're going to have the option to download the version for Linux, Mac, or Windows. Right now we're on Windows. And since most of you all are on Windows as well, we'll use that as an example. So the first thing I did was just go ahead and download it. Now I'm just going to create a new folder called ping tool and I'm going to paste it in here from my downloads folder and then I'm going to right click and do 7-zip and extract here. You can use the built-in extractor in Windows as well because it is a .zip and then what you should get is a readme, a couple easy pre-configured batch files and then of course the executable. Now at this point to test Ethermine and two miners all you have to do is run the pre-configured batch files. At this point it will bring up a command prompt and go through basically testing out, of course, the ping. And as you can see here on two miners, we have a min of 146, an average of 149, and a max of 152. Now, if we run the ethermine batch file, you'll see here that it's gonna run once again. And we have a minimum of 61 with an average of 63 and a max of 64. So currently, obviously, Ethermine, we have a better connection to and will be more likely to send, of course. All right, now for some pools, you're gonna have to make some modifications to the batch file. What I have here is an example of what you would need to do for Hivon, which is adding the stratum. And so here we have a switch dash T and then it's defined as stratum one. And you'll need to do this to test your hive on pool. And then we're just going to double click it and it will run through and have a min of 65 for me, an average of 66 and a max of 68. When you're editing the batch files, you can go get basically whatever this pool address is and type it in here. If you need to make the switch, of course, for the stratum one, you can do that just depending on which pool you're doing it with. If you have any additional questions on which pools require which switches, I can try to help you figure it out. I haven't tested every pool. These are the three main pools that I utilize. So let me know in the comment section below if you're having issues running it on any other pools and I'll try to help you figure that out. Okie dokie. So obviously for me, I'm going to be looking at Ethermine or Hivon. So for me at that point, I got to just basically decide between PPS plus for Hivon or PPLNS for Ethermine. And depending on the markets and how ETH is doing as far as amount of transactions and so on and so forth, I'd make my decision accordingly. 
And right now, for example, I'm on Hivon because after the big transaction boom that was earlier this week, the trading and so on and fees has come down. And so getting a more consistent payout from Hivon was my decision, at least for the time being. Hope this video was helpful. I hope you are able to submit more shares now and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.